Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Localize. My name is Ilya and today I'm going to show you how to easily translate your HTML files with the help of a convenient user interface and with artificial intelligence. So well to get started to proceed to localize.com if you don't have an account with us just create a new one by clicking try it for free you will get a free access to all the features for two weeks and you don't need to provide a credit card. I would say that's a great deal and then after you sign up you will be brought to the projects dashboard and basically a project is a collection of all your translations of all the documents that you have uploaded of the users who participate in your project and as well as some settings and connections to third-party apps like github maybe amazon s3 and many many other things so we will need to create a new project we are going to call it my personal site and then you will need to choose the base language so this is the original language of your HTML document and by the way that's the document I would like to translate so that's a regular HTML page it contains some tags so I would like to translate the text this attribute as well this title here and well perhaps this list as well so that's our document and it's in english therefore i'm choosing english and then as for the target languages you should choose at least one language because well these are the languages you will be translating into but you can choose as many languages as you'd like and we support like all the languages that you can think of and if that's not enough you can even create a custom language and then you should choose the documents project type because what translate an HTML and then well you can actually enable this setting that is called segmentation and it will uh, like visually split uh, your longer texts into special segments there are some rules uh, that control how exactly your texts are split you can learn more about it in the docs but in any case so these segments will be automatically composed together when you're going to download your translated document back then you just press upload files and you should choose one or more files from your PC so here is my file let's choose it and then you can see these numbers so a key in this case is basically your block tags that are found within this HTML document and then you can rename your file if so you like and you can see that this EN part has been automatically replaced with this placeholder and actually in many cases you will want to keep this placeholder because when you're going to download your document back in the target language so the translated document this placeholder will be replaced with the actual local code for example me.fr.html for French okay then you can choose a different language if it has not been detected properly as for this settings you can leave those intact but you can learn more in our docs and you just press import this upload will happen in the background you can view the activity and you can see that everything is now uploaded which is great so now let's return to the editor to work with our content so here is your document and here are all the extracted texts you can see that they were separated by the tags here is the h1 for instance and well next we can see there's the paragraph then you can see this list here so those are list items but you might ask where are my block tags so for instance where is the title tag I don't see it anywhere well it is visually hidden for your own convenience because you are not expected to translate those texts anyways and when the document is downloaded back of course this text will be restored for you automatically and then here you can choose the source and the target language so this is the language pair you are currently working with so this is the language to translate from and it is displayed here to the left this is the language to translate into and you can add more languages if you'd like or you can choose a different language so that's it and then you can start well the actual translation process so for instance let's click on this empty word and then you can enter some text manually for example also you can pick one of the suggestions presented to you by neural networks 
Google Translate, DeepL and Microsoft Translate, so you can click on one of those to pick uh, this uh, automatic translation. Then you might see something like this depending on your setup. So this is an entry taken from the translation memory. And to put a long story short, a translation memory is a special storage that contains all the previously translated texts. So for instance, Previously, I've already translated this about me phrase. And in this case, I'm translating the same phrase. Probably I don't need to like retranslate it once again. And so to save me some amount of work, well, this suggestion is here, so I can just pick it. Alternatively, you can take advantage of the artificial intelligence. This support has been added, well, a few months ago. And you can provide more context, so like more instructions to the AI, or you can simply hit translate. And here you go. Uh, so then you can ask to rephrase this, or you can maybe ask for more variants of the same translation. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you can choose one of those. Well, or if you are happy with this one, you just pick it and then you click save. So now this tag, this title tag is translated into Russian. Brilliant. And then, of course, you can proceed to translate in other, other keys, just like this. And then, well, then you might see something like this, because this is your image tag. There is a closing tag. We're not supposed to translate that, obviously, so you can, you know, leave it empty. But I would like to translate this alternative tag, so let's hit here. And perhaps you can just uh, press insert source. So here is the source. And then you just provide a new value for this thing here. Let's save it. So let's keep this empty. And then what? Then we can see some interesting circle here. And if I hover over it, I can see that it is a BR tag. So these inline tags are not stripped out from your translations because you might want to translate some of those. For example, I would like to translate the title for this tag, right? But this BR tag, it should not be tweaked in any way. So it should be left intact. And so, well, once again, for your convenience, these tags are replaced with those small blocks. But if it doesn't work for you, you can simply disable these settings. And now check it out. We can see the markup once again. So you can enable or disable it as you like. Now we can actually insert the source. Once again, here you can enable or disable this feature. But for now, you will probably want to disable it because we would like to translate this thing as well. So let's provide this translation in the following way and let's hit save. And once you are done translating, you can download this document. But there is, uh, well, one small problem because, well, for instance, I'm not really familiar with the French language. And so I would like uh, to ask for some assistance. There are a few potential solutions. So you can take advantage of neural networks. You can hire a professional, I mean a human translator, and it can be easily done in this order menu. Or you can also take advantage of the artificial intelligence to translate multiple keys in one go. So let's use artificial intelligence. And so to achieve that, you just pick uh, these texts for translation. And then from this menu, make sure to choose create a task. And then you hit proceed. So you will be creating a new task. Click confirm. And then from this drop down, make sure to choose automatic translation, right? And then you can give it a name, maybe translate French. And then you can also provide additional instructions for artificial intelligence. Maybe provide some context. Maybe you can ask to use simple language or stuff like that. So these instructions, they will be followed by AI. And then once you already click next and here you will be able to choose the target languages and the source language. I would like to translate into French. So let's keep French only. And then you can see that the assignee is localized AI. And then once you're ready, simply hit create. And your order is now in the works. So depending on the number of words, it might take some time. But usually these orders are carried out really, really fast. So let's update the page and let's see what's going to happen now. So you see this uh, order has already been started. So I believe in a couple of moments we are going to see the progress reaching 100%. And yes, so... Uh, now it has been closed by the AI. You will also receive an email saying that this task is now complete. Let's return to the editor and you can see that, well, everything is translated. 
And what's even better, artificial intelligence has not tried to translate the markup itself, so you can see that it has been left intact, whereas this attribute has been translated, which is great. By the way, if you would like to search for all the untranslated items, you can use filter untranslated. And now you can see that these company names are not translated yet, but most likely you will want to keep them as is, therefore I'm not going to translate those. And then finally let's proceed to the download page. Here in this page you will need to, to pick HTML file format, and then you can pick one or more languages to include into the download bundle. Well, I already have this English version, so I'm not going to pick that. Here is, by the way, the progress of the translation, right? And then, uh, well, inside content to export, you can filter your content by the file name, but we have only one file name, we don't need to filter out anything. Then we can say what to do about the empty translations, because as you remember, previously we have not translated some of the texts, right? So you can ask to keep your tags empty, if these tags are not translated, you can skip the document altogether if it has no translations, but if it is partly translated, then actually this document will still be exported, but the untranslated texts will contain the base language values, in this case English. Or you can simply say replace with base language, well, to achieve more or less of the same result. You can find more information in the docs. And then you can hit preview to see the result. And so check it out. So here is our document. That's quite nice, I would say. So here are both versions. You can see that the file name is adjusted accordingly, and we can see that the title is translated, the header, so the alternative text, but still we can see that these guys are preserved as well, which is nice. So the markup is fully correct, therefore you can press build and download, and you will get an archive. So here is the archive, so the files are nicely separated into folders, and here is our HTML document. So let me open it in my notepad, and as you can see, well, it is now fully localized into Russian locale, and well, here is the original. As you can see, everything is in order. And well, by uh, using this approach, you can add more languages, you can use artificial intelligence to translate into those, or you can proceed to the order page and hire a professional translator if you'd like. So that's basically, that's how you can translate your HTML document in multiple locales. Thank you for your attention, stay with Localize, and well, see you in the other tutorials.